Let's do some drywall. Hello, YouTubers, do-it-yourselfers. If you're trying to do some drywall, boy, well, you came to the right channel. I'm a drywall repairman, this is what I do every day. In this video, we're just doing a simple drywall patch behind a refrigerator. Believe it or not, this is a very common patch. These ice makers, water lines, they always leak these boxes. Honestly, I think they're bad news to have in your house. But if you have one, more than likely at least one time in your home ownership, condo ownership lifetime, you're going to have an issue with this box. They do leak. You have a water line for convenience. They have issues. So once they start leaking or they have issues, the plumber is going to have to open up the wall and they're going to have to fix these boxes. Basically put in a new valve. This guy did a good job, so all he did was just cut a little patch underneath it. So he did a real good job here. So we're basically going to go through and fix this up. I'm not going to bore you step by step. It's just basic watch and learn videos. Get the area masked off. We're going to go ahead and put some backing in. Always add backing. If you don't want to add backing, then you're going to have to cut back center to the next stud. So I like to add backing. I'm going to use sheetrock. I'm using a purple board, which is like a mold resistant sheetrock green boards the same stuff but we're going to get it all sheetrocked i'm going to go through and i'm gonna do a nice good first coat on it i'm using a first coat i'm using hot muds then i'm going to slick it out and then it's going to be ready for texture i go ahead and just do a spray texture but this is a common repair maybe you should pull your refrigerator out tonight and take a look at it and see what's behind there you might have the same issue most of them i see leak slow leaks you don't even know until you see the water in front of the refrigerator. So sometimes it's good to at least visually inspect these boxes behind your refrigerator once in a while. When they really get bad, then you're going to have to open up the wall. And if they're really bad, they just leak slowly into your wall and they create a lot of damage. So take a look at your box and maybe you're going to have to replace the box or do a drywall patch. So this is what this video is for. So go ahead and watch the video. Also, give me a like. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Also, leave a comment. Maybe you had a situation like this before. Go ahead and leave your situation on it. Don't be shy. Feel free to comment. The channel's grown, so if you are a subscriber and you watch my videos and you like them, comment them. Thank you very much. I'm going to keep making videos. I'm going to try to make some smaller videos, small stuff like this, more like do-it-yourselfer type repairs. Easy patch job. This is a job anybody can do themselves. At least get it ready before you hire someone. Do what you can do, what you're comfortable doing before you hire someone else. And if you're not really handy at all and you don't have basic tools, it's probably sometimes easier and cheaper just to hire someone to get it over with. But this is an easy video, patching up a small area, less than a foot patch behind a refrigerator a plumbing box very common video so hey thanks for viewing thanks for liking and thank you for subscribing drywall repairman